This is just a video on uh, respirators and how I, how I store mine and uh, what, to, what to be careful about uh, to make them last a really long time. And you can make even the, just the dust filters last a really long time. I wanted to say that this, this, uh, this envelope that the, the chemical cartridges come in, that's the most important thing in the, in the package. And I'll, and I'll show you what I mean. I mean obviously, you're going to throw that away. You don't have to save it. But it's airtight. When it, when it was sealed, it arrived right from the factory airtight. And that's important. And I'm going to show you uh, uh, how, uh, why, uh, how, how to keep, keep your cartridge for a long time. I thought I'd start with this old thing. This is, a, this is my first respirator, actually, from the 80s. And I only use it now for dust in the, uh, you can see the one-way valve right there. It gets a little uh, messy, so what you do is you just go and give it a blow, and it comes out nice and flat. This is actually a really good respirator, but I don't buy, the chemical cartridges aren't made anymore, so I just, use it, I just use it as a dust filter. And when the dust filter, I feel it gets a little clogged, I don't want to, uh, use, I spray painted that orange on purpose, by the way, <laughs> so I could find it. The, the, the thing that I do is when I'm in a hospital, I put these on, or when I'm traveling, and then I save them. And uh, then I just I use them as a, uh, as a dust mask. With the respirator, it fits nice and tight to your face. You know, you know if you put this on, you, you feel the air is coming around the edges and dust as well, sawdust or what, what not, pollen, whatever. But the drawback on these old ones is that they don't have a good harness. That this, first of all, these stretch out. You can see this one is really stretched out. It doesn't even give anymore. It's like string almost. So, and that's my, that's my second pair, but I've used those really hard. But anyway, it slips around on your hair if you have straight hair like me. If you have curly hair, probably not, not an issue. But anyway, you can't get them anymore. Uh, but this one I bought from a paint store some time ago. This is a, a I think this is a USA, USA Pro or something like that. And this is the same, uh, same idea as the 3M. Uh, and I don't know if you can buy these anymore either. It's got the one-way valve, same as the other ones. And it's the same thing. You could take a, a any kind of a dust mask, which, whichever is the outside, I guess you would face out. You could cut cut it nice and neat, and you'd have a dust mask. Unfortunately, though, for these, you have to use the chemical cartridge beneath it because that it holds the clip. So, say la vie. That's the way. That's the way it is. You you, you will be filtering with your with your organic cartridge, but you won't be really taking anything out of the air unless you have something bad in the air. I would use this just for, for my saws, for, for like my wood shop, just to keep the sawdust out of my throat. Because, uh, and, the, and the organic cartridge won't age. I won't be using it, so I, I, I don't feel bad that, that I would be. Uh, but I want to show you, here's the basic thing. I bought the 6503, which is, a, which is for uh, professional chemists or whatnot, and you have to click a box on the way out saying that you are a professional working around hazardous blah 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 and you understand the the, the uh, you understand the risk I'm I am recommending though the 6100 6200 6300 me, small medium and large for most people it's the same it's actually the same mask and here's how I keep it and this is what I would highly recommend is you get a tough bag like this so this is a sling bag and uh, inside the sling bag are my airtight bags so like I told you this is an airtight bag, this is the way it arrives, because they know if that sits on the shelf of some Home Depot or something, it's going to sit there if it's in a, if it's in a cloth bag or if it's in a, not a, 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 a bag that's not airtight, it's going to absorb chemicals 24-7. And by the time you get it, it's not going to be worth what it should be. So I put, I take this idea and I turn it into a, this is the first airtight, airtight bag, I think some... I don't know what came in this, but I, anytime I get an airtight bag, I hang on to it just for this reason. And then I have another airtight bag. So I have three bags, and sometimes I'll even put four because I'm a geek. Anyway, this is it. Uh, this is the, basically exactly the same thing as the uh, 60, 60, 100, 60, 200, 60, 200. And the, the, the whoops, <laughs> how's that for live TV? The, the, uh, the cartridges just go in and out. They're, they fit very tight. They're a little difficult, but I really don't think you can break that tab. I, this thing is this thing is like ballistic plastic or something. So here's the key uh, the key thing. Like that other one that you have the outside clip. If you buy this kit to start out with, it it comes with this cartridge. It comes with this clip and this dust uh, dust um, what would you call that filter for the outside. So that fits over this with the retaining clip. And you get four of these 
And then I think you can buy 10 for like a dollar each or something like 10, 10, 10 bucks for 10 or something like that. And so again, if you're just using, if you're just around dust, let's say uh, sawdust or like a springtime weed whacking or whatever, you would just use the, the dust mask and it wouldn't weigh on your chemical cartridge. But if you're just around, if you're in a room that's not dusty and you're painting with oil paints or bleach or something like this, you're, you're using some kind of toxic material, you could use the dust mask. It would make it last longer, but really it's the chemical cartridge. And when you put this on your face and you breathe into it, it smells like you're in a clean room of, at NASA or something. It's, it, the, the air smells so clean. It's amazing. Uh, and I imagine if, you, if you're if you someone with allergies, you probably already know all this. Uh, these, these things are great. The one thing that sort of the last sort of tip I really wanted, wanted to make is I would not use this for, let's say, an hour or, or, or less or more uh, uh, and, and then just put it right in the in the plastic bag. I wouldn't do that because not only is the mask inside moist from your breath, but so is the cartridge. So what I do is when I'm done with it, I take it to a, a sunny a window ledge or maybe if it's not sunny, the, the furnace room and I just leave it and I let it completely dry out. Will this be absorbing toxins from the furnace room? Yes, it will. But it needs to dry out completely. I also add in sometimes, because I'm just, I want these things to last a long time. They're not expensive, but I don't want to throw them away. I, I throw in these things from vitamin jars or whatnot. This is a little uh, humidity uh, indicator, which is helpful, although I'm not really sure how to read it. It says read the blue. So where, where we are now is 60% humidity. I, actually, I believe that. But I've never seen that change in, I have to, actually, I need to work with that more, and that's why I threw it in there. Uh, but anyway, th that's it. So let this dry out completely, then store it in two, at least, I would say, two airtight plastic bags, and then a, another outside bag, you could use something like that for toughness, and just to protect your airtight bags. And it'll, it'll last forever. And these, uh, these, uh, air, these, uh, the dust, the dust filters for the outer level, you can't put them in water, but you can, you can flick them and get all the dust out of them in, you know, years. You could really get years out of them if you take care of them. I do, I'm, but I'm really cheap, so I hope you enjoy. Bye.